If you are losing weight right now, but you are struggling, I am about to make your life a lot easier temporarily. Because if you are serious about becoming a lean, mean, sexual machine, then this is the absolute first thing that you should be doing. If you skip by this, or you have already skipped by this, you're setting yourself up for long-term failure. Now, the first thing you need to do is not cut back your calories, is not overhaul all of your nutritional habits, the same nutritional habits that have put you in this situation in the first place. And it is also not to head down to your local gym to hand a wad of cash over to the first crappy trainer that you see. Let them guide you through some crappy, generic, high intensity workouts, two, three, four times a week that might feel good in the moment, but could actually be setting you up again for more long-term failure. And here is why. Imagine for a second that your body is a car. The food that you eat is the gas. Now let's say that every day at the moment, you're putting a little bit too much gas in the car and it's leading to a little bit of spillage. So we wanna sort that out. And the first thing we're gonna do is start pulling that gas back. Suddenly we've not got enough gas to get through the day. Now if you're following what I'm trying to say here, on paper, that might actually sound good. But the problem is that your body, this car, is a Tesla. Gas powered Tesla, one of the rare ones. Because this car is so fucking smart, it realizes that something is not right. It realizes that something's changed. And how does it deal with? Well, Tesla, they've given Morgan Freeman a load of money. They've programmed his voice into it. And every single night when you're trying to sleep, suddenly an alarm goes off and it's Morgan Freeman calling out, put some gas in me, put some gas in me. And the only way to shut him up is to give him the gas that he wants. Do you get what I'm saying, lads? Do you get what I'm saying? Now, Attacking your weight loss goals from two different angles, calories, activity, bringing them together. In theory, that is fantastic. And for a select few, that'll do the trick. They'll see amazing results. But for most people, if you try to do too much, too fast, if you try to pull back your calories, the calories that you've been consuming excessively, I might add, and if you try to drastically increase your activity levels, at the same time, the end of the day, you are going to feel absolutely depleted and you are going to be starving. And you know what the most likely outcome is when that happens at nighttime, when you're sitting there, when you're trying to relax, you are going to end up getting those urges. Once you start, you're not going to be able to stop. You're going to end up binging at nighttime and that is going to undo all the great work you've done that day so far. One more time, let's clarify this. If your body has become accustomed to minimal to no exercise, and if your body has become accustomed to excessive calorie intake, that is what your body knows. And no matter how good your intentions are and how motivated you feel at certain times of the day, suddenly switch that and expect that you're going to be able to get through the day as normal on restricted calories whilst increasing your activity. Well, that's just stupid. So the absolute first thing that you should do in your weight loss journey, starting today, starting right now, is to completely cut back all of your activity levels. That's right do less. That's not the solution. That is just short term because once you have got those activity levels cut down, once you don't need as much fuel to get through the day, then you can start to cut your calories back. Because remember, it's going to be so much easier for that car to drive around with less gas in the tank if it doesn't have as many places to go. And once your body starts to get used to that lower calorie intake, from there you can up your activity levels. But I would not go high intensity, I would go low intensity, something like incline walking. And as your body gets used to that, and as your personal fitness journey progresses, you can do what the hell you want, up the intensity, up the training, do what you like as long as you're enjoying yourself and as long as you are sticking to it. Because any top trainer who knows what he's talking about is going to tell you this. Losing weight permanently, keeping it off, 
is a long-term process. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. And the people who go too hard, too fast, they are the ones that tend to fall the hardest. So if you're serious about making long-term changes, then obviously it's gonna take a lot of work, it's gonna take a lot of discipline. But one aspect of the journey that probably doesn't get enough focus is that you need to relax a little bit and you need to trust the process. It doesn't all have to be intense, it doesn't all have to be a struggle. And the great thing about taking the slow and steady approach is that when you do finally see the results that you're hoping for, when your body starts to change, that is gonna come as a result of the fact that you have changed your lifestyle. And it is by changing your lifestyle that you are gonna be able to maintain that new sexy body long term. Thank you for watching the video as always, guys. If you found this helpful, as I always say, please help me out by dropping a like, drop a comment, anything you want, something nice for the engagement. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more top quality stuff. Until the next one, geezers, get shredded, stay shredded. Bye-bye. <laughs>